today we will discuss the shoulder top computer that we all carry above our shoulders. Why is it that some people attain success very easily and others, no matter how hard they try, never accomplish their goals? How can we best use our minds to accomplish success, achieve happiness and reach our goals in the shortest space of time? My thoughts are inspired by Ron G. Holland, who is a mentor and 22 times magazine best-selling author. What is human biocomputer? This is our shoulder top computer that we carry around with us in our heads. It is biological by nature, it is programmable and it can store, retrieve and process data. It can do a lot more than that. If you take pain to program, program it properly, that's what this presentation is all about. What is a program? A set of instruction for a computer. And what is to program? To devise and enter such a set of instructions into a computer. Computers are capable of solving a variety of complex problems with astonishing rapidity. That thing above your shoulders, the human biocomputer, is the most powerful and complex computer in the world. It can solve problems, create, process in words, pictures and feelings, as well as think in black and white and color. It has input that will give certain output under certain conditions, and it has stored instructions and program. These programs will govern your output in the way of day-to-day -day habits, and when the conditions are right, will provide you output in the way of hunches or your records. This is the very same hardware, our brain, that Programmed correctly has put man on the moon, invented the electric light bulb, computer, silicon chips, fission chips, automobile, submarines, and a hundred million other useful inventions or discoveries that make the world such an exciting place to live in. This same hardware, when inserted within correct programs, has caused thousands of people to fail and has caused untold misery, unhappiness, depression, and in some cases, premature death. The brain also consists of 200 billion cells that are called neurons. These cells are linked together by an absolutely amazing network of transmission fibers. Some of these cells have over 10,000 connections linking them to other cells. So intricate is a network of cells and transmission fiber that there is not a single cell in the whole network that cannot communicate with another cell anywhere in the entire network. A little bit like a global telephone system. If you have a phone, you can call any number in the world providing you have the correct number. So it is with these 200 billion cells in your biocomputer, they can all communicate with each other if they want to. And they sometimes do. Those cells are filled with chemicals, including potassium and sodium, and they generate tiny amount of electricity. Whatever information you insert in those cells will be the software program of your own personal computer. Many of those programs incidentally are inserted for you when you are young and impressionable by your parents, by your environment, and by your teachers. Only when you grow up, some of us later rather than sooner take control of our lives and start inserting biocomputer programs of our own choice. Unfortunately, many of us never exercise this control simply because we have never been made aware that we may do so. A lucky few stumble on the facts intuitively and insert the correct program for success. Others plan for it and succeed. The more correctly you program your biocomputer, the more delighted you'll be with your output. Never forget, input equals output. The common denominator of all who achieve success intuitively is that they relax and visualize the future as they desire it. If you want to attain success consciously, I suggest you sooner you practice relaxing and visualizing the future as you desire it, the sooner you too will attain success. Good examples worth quoting. Michelangelo thought three-dimensionally before he started to chip away at a piece of marble that he would produce a beautiful sculpture out of marble. Conrad Hilton used to play at hotels as a young boy, years before he became a hotelier. Today we talk of 5,500 properties under Hilton brand. Edison, with all his great inventions such as electricity, 
He used to take time out to relax and visualize the future as he desired it. For everything that we do, we must have an appropriate program in our biocomputer. You will realize that if you can drive, it's because you have an I can drive program in your biocomputer. If you can speak Chinese, it's only because you created that I can speak Chinese neuron chain. Slowly but surely, until it formed into a complete ganglia, which is a program in your biocomputer. If you can't drive or can't speak French or Chinese, it's solely because you don't have the appropriate program in your biocomputer. If you can weld or sew or repair auto engines, it's solely because you have those programs in your biocomputer. You have seen there are many ways we can get programs inserted into a biocomputer. Why is it that some people attain success very easily? and others, no matter how hard they try, never accomplish their goals? How can we best use our minds to accomplish success, achieve happiness and reach our goals in the shortest space of time? Through testimonies of the likes of Thomas Edison and many who were there before and after, we know through the practice of relaxation and visualization, the future as we desire it is at hand. We also know that if we make the start and persist with the practice, we too will attain our wildest possible dreams. We will literally dream ourselves into anything we ever wished. I will share with you a summary of how to insert programs into our biocomputers that will take us to the goals we have set for ourselves regardless of the programming that we may or may not have received during our formative years. But even more important, in the next part coming up next week, we will insert programs that will give us sustained success, programs that will keep us moving onwards and upwards for as much as we want in our journey of life. All life is one life. Thank you for watching. Like to hear your comments? Please feel free to give your comments. Thank you.